Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the top five dorms at Virginia Tech and the worst two dorms at Virginia Tech. Um, I'm currently a freshman or I'm wrapping up my freshman semester. It's been great so far. I've learned a lot, made a lot of new memories, met some new people. Um, it's been pretty great. And I just thought that I'd, you know, just share kind of some of the things I've learned. And um, I did live on campus. So I kind of got like firsthand experience on how residence life is like living in dorms and living in halls and stuff because a lot of my friends did too so i got a chance to always go hang out with them in their dorms and their rooms and like just kind of living in my own space as well i picked up on a lot and i thought just you know why not share it with everyone else um i know you guys are probably like if you're watching this you're probably going into tech like you're a rising freshman and trying to figure out where you want to live and stuff and hopefully this video helps and if it does give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more um i usually drop Virginia tech content because i love my school pokies for life um so yeah but without further ado let's get into the video and hopefully by the end of this you know where you want to live okay so i have like my notes over here so if i look down sorry no it's not professional but you know, I gotta read, it's a lot. It's a lot of information. Number one, I would say P. Drew Yates. It's also known as PY. Um, it's fairly new, the building is beautiful. Um, they have two floors that are for the LLC and then two floors that are just for everybody. If you don't know what an LLC is, it's a living learning community. So basically you apply to it when you're moving into, like when you're applying for your housing. And it's basically just kind of like a group of people with similar interests or something in common and you just kind of like have those people. It's just like another resource for you. Um, they do events together and kind of have like socials and stuff like that. I personally wasn't in an LLC and I don't think I missed out on a lot cause I still, you know, I'm a pretty social person and I join clubs and stuff. So it was like, it was okay for me. Okay, another thing about PY is that it's close to D2 and Dietrich. Um, so D2, DX, West End, and the gym. The location of it, there are other dorms in that area as well that are kind of similar. DX is where you get like your quick food at night, a midnight snack, they close at 2 a.m. And then D2 is the like dining hall that's upstairs. It's kind of like a buffet style. You just, you know, you just eat and then you grub and leave. They have really good Sunday brunches. So make sure you, make sure you go. And then, West End is one of our other dining halls. It's one of the more fancier halls. Um, a lot of people love it there. The food is great. There's a wide variety of foods. It's kind of like a food court. And then you just pick what food you want. And then it's close to McComas. That's one of the gyms. That's the big gym with the pool. And I think the other one has a pool too. But this McComas has like AC. Um, it's fairly like, it's newer than the other one. The other one's called War Memorial Gym. And I'm not sure if they're shutting it down next year or not because they were like working on some stuff with this last semester. But yeah, so PY is also close to the gym. Um, the rooms are suite styled. So there would be three bedrooms and one like tiny living room and a bathroom in one room. So like you walk down, like if you're walking down the hall, you go into a room, you walk in, and there's like a little living space. And then if you turn to the right, there's a bathroom with like, I think two or three stalls and two showers. And then you keep walking. It's like kind of a mini apartment without a kitchen, if that makes sense. So there are two bedrooms on the right side and then a one bedroom on the left side. Or if you're kind of like flipped, I guess it's like the other way around. I found that those rooms are a little bit bigger than the other rooms in the regular like halls and stuff or at least the ones that I've been in. If you want like a little more space, then I would go there. And if you have like a friend group that you wanna live with, then you guys could all try to figure out a way to all get the same suite. And I think that would be fun. Cause you know, you're just, it's like an apartment. Another thing about it is that it has many, many lounges. I think like two lounges for every floor. Also it has air conditioning. Um, Half the dorms at Tech don't have air conditioning and half of them do. At first, I was I was a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, whoa, <laughs> like you know, you come from you, usually your home is air conditioned, and you're moving to college, and then you just kind of your body has to adapt to no air conditioning. It was a lot easier than I expected, though. Yeah, that's pretty much it for PY. Next on the list is West End, and did I say West End? That's a that's a dining hall. My bad. 
It's been a while. But next on the list is West and East AJ. Um, so I know East AJ, or I, I know one of them is for the Honors College. So, but I think there's like still other like people that aren't in the honor Honors College that live in it too. I think this is one of the best dorms I've been in. It low-key kind of looks like a hotel. Like when you walk in, there's a gym on the first floor, like a mini gym. They have a movie theater downstairs. Um, and then they have like, you go up one floor and there's two more theaters where you can just go and hang out. It's kind of like a big lounge that also have a, has like a theater screen. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty nice. It's seven floors, I think. So it's really high and it's newly renovated. And the interior design is really like, it's really bright. It's like orange, green, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like prison walls. So that's really nice. Um, they also have a game room on the sixth floor, I think, and a big kitchen. So if you're with your friends, you can just go to the game room, um, play like ping pong or play, um, what's it called? What's that thing with the, with the stick? Billiard, billiards? Some pool. I'm stupid. Pool. Boy, if you don't. Yep, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can also play pool and just kind of go chill with your friends there. Okay, it's also close to D2, DX, West End, and the gym, but it's a little bit further away from classes. But I feel like once you get adjusted to tech, you'll learn how to ride the bus and the system, the bus system will kind of help you through that. I think it's so beautiful. It also has air conditioning, which is great for those who really like need it. That's West and East AJ. Next on the list is Oshags. Y'all, let me tell y'all about Oshag. When you walk by, you, you see it, you know it's Oshag. It has like these like LED lights at the bottom of the stairs and it's like glass going all the way up to the top floor is crazy um the they have a lobby which looks like kind of like a hotel lobby it's so modern styled the interior design is great it's beautiful the kitchen is so nice um they have air conditioning bathrooms are just renovated and the dorms are too i think oshag is the newest building like, if you guys watch emma top i think she lived there her freshman year so all of her videos where she was in her room and stuff, th that was Oshag. So it's close to the library, it's close to Owens, it's close to Hokey Grill. I love that because, you know, Hokey Grill, that's where Chick-fil-A is. Catch me there. But um, yeah, it's also close to the student center, which is Squires, and it's close to downtown, which is nice for like weekends if you wanna go out, or if you just wanna go get food that's not, you know, tech food, which you probably won't, because tech food is chef's kiss like it's amazing it's very clean and it has air conditioning also which is great um so next on the list is new hall west new hall west the way the rooms are set up is that it's kind of like a hotel hotel style room some of the rooms there have like you can get your own bathroom and you typically you share with two people but sometimes you have to share with three people but the rooms are really big and there's a lot of closet space so like my friends that are in it told me like it, it was not a problem they love their experience living in new hall west it also has air conditioning it's close to dx dtrix and um west end but like i guess it's kind of far from classes and it's a little bit further from the library but you know Tech is a nice school, you know, the walk is nice, it's some scenery, you'll be fine. Those are like my top four. Okay, and then for the fifth one, I'm, you know, I'm biased. I'm gonna just talk about where I lived and I loved my experience. I lived in Newman Hall. I know, I'd be like, yo, I live in Newman. People to the library. It's not the library, okay? Yeah, the library is called Newman, but there's also like a residence hall called Newman. And it didn't have AC, unfortunately, but at first I was a little worried. I'm not gonna lie, I was worried. But after a while, I kind of got used to it. And I was like, like the AC problem wasn't that bad because you only need, you can just buy fans. I remember the first day going to tech, like when I first moved in, I saw the windows, people would have a fan facing like outwards and then a fan, like a fan facing inward. And then when I walked in, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> they were like, oh, we're circulating the air in the room. So people, you know, tech is a school of engineers, a school of architects, a school of everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got some smart people at that school. And, you know, they figured it out. They figured out a way to kind of make the most of it. The rooms are kind of the same size as a lot of other rooms, I guess. I loved my experience in my dorm. Um, I loved my roommate. The closet space, they gave me a closet. And they also gave me, like... 
They gave me a closet and they also gave me a dresser, which was great. And they had storage space above my closet, which was also amazing because I have so many things. Um, you can choose to loft your bed, bring it higher or lower. And if the, if it's higher, you have more space in your room because obviously you have more room under the bed. And you have a sink in your room. And then I thought sharing a bathroom with other people would be crazy, but it honestly was not that bad because like there's a bunch of stalls and a bunch of showers and no one's all showering at once. So it's like, you know, like I don't even think I've, I've barely, like sometimes I have the whole shower to myself. If you shower at the right time, you, you'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of how my dorm looks like in case some of you guys are wondering kind of the setup and the layout. Um, Newman also has a study lounge, like two study lounges on the bottom floor. And then it has a handicap bathroom on the ground floor. It has vending machines, kitchen on the second floor. Oh, another piece of advice. If you're moving into a dorm, I highly suggest moving into the ground floor or the first floor because like, y'all, it's crazy. Move-in day was insane. We had to lug everything up the stairs because I didn't know there was an elevator until later on after I looked everything up. But some of the dorms do not have elevators. So I guess keep that in mind when you're picking what room you want. So that's basically it for my top five dorms at Virginia Tech. Um, so first, I'm gonna say Slusher. Slusher is one of the oldest dorms at Virginia Tech. Um, it smells like butt cheeks, it smells really bad. It's very old, like the building architecture, structure, whatever, it's not the newest, you know, there's no LED lights and stuff. It just kind of looks like a prison when you're walking in. Um, the rooms are not that big either, and it has no air conditioning. Oh, watch out for that. Um, the next one I would say, okay, I'm gonna, you know, Listen, don't attack me, but I'm just go. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna say Pritchard. Pritchard smells like butt. Okay, Pritchard. Listen, I guess it's considered the party dorm, so a lot of people, you know, want to go and like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go be social in Pritchard. Let's go apply for Pritchard. If you're, you have to really be about that life if you want to live in Pritchard. Cause Saturday nights, people will come, they'll start yakking everywhere. The whole hall will stink. Like it is the party dorm. And I guess it kind of depends on what floor you live in. Cause I've heard different things based on different floors, but you know, you gotta be about it if you want to be in it. <laughs> you know, like if you're looking for a more chiller space, I would not suggest Richard. Virginia Tech, I'm sorry for roasting y'all, but for, for roasting your property. But listen, I gotta help these people, you know? Okay, so that's it for my video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you're a freshman going into tech and you need any help with literally anything, I am always here. Comment below any questions. Um, I can leave my contact information in the comments below. If you guys want to talk, if you guys want advice, if you're nervous, I'm here to help. And yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.